Hey, Facebook again. I'm Jay from Tech Force Limited, and I have done a video earlier explaining the benefits of Office 365. So I wanted to um, tell you the cost um, difference between the between having an on-site exchange and going for Office 365, right? So the co if you have, an, let's say, let's say you have 50 employees or 50 users who needs a mailbox okay so those 50 for 50 people let's say you're buying an exchange server uh, that is a, a email server you're hosting the emails yourself on your premises so that could cost you 50 times 92 pounds a license so that's you know the numbers 4600 pounds plus the server license, which is probably about 800 pounds. So um, your straight away, your 5,400 pounds for that expense. Plus you need to buy the server. If you already have the server, well, think, thinking, keeping Exchange in mind, you have to beef up the server because Exchange is a very, very resource intensive application. It might not work with um, a, a, a weaker, a weak server. So you need to put your hardware costs as well as your uh, support costs. Again, support costs. What I mean is, if um, if you have a, a email server on site, your um, it the patching or the maintenance has to be done out out of hours because you you can't afford to have your emails offline during the business hours, right? So your support costs will go up, your backup costs, um, so you're, if you're having the server on site, so you must have some data, you need to back it up, your backup uh, storage costs will go up again. So on top of 5,400 pounds we calculated here, you have all these costs, right? So as opposed to, if you do apples to apples compar comparison, if you just want Exchange Online as opposed to Office 365, yeah, there is a package called Exchange Online, which only gives you Exchange. So that package will cost you three pounds per user per month. So let's do the numbers again. For 50 users, you're talking about 50 times three times 12. So that's 1800 pounds per year. So uh, the overall, the, the cost for five years is 9,000 pounds. I uh, hope my numbers are right. Um, and if you look at the earlier numbers, 5,400. So there is a difference of 3,600 pounds but over the five years. But remember what I said, you have to add your server cost, your maintenance, your, 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 your DR, your storage and all that. And with, with, with the exchange online, you don't have to worry about every, all, all these things. It's a peace of mind. You can sleep happy at night. So if you step it up a bit more uh, from exchange online to Office 365, a basic business essentials package, that will be four pounds per user per month. So extra one pound. What do you get for extra one pound? You get Skype. Skype is really, really freaking good. I mean, it's really good. Um, and you get SharePoint and you get OneDrive and you get a couple more things. The extra one pound. <laughs> Can you imagine? So, um, so if you, if you, if you go for uh, the basic business essential pack, you won't get office software, just to let you know. So business essentials package set you up for 12,000 pounds over five years. So, but, if you want to have the Skype SharePoint on site, it's going to be more, more than that. So it's a no brainer, right? When you have 50 users and, um, I, what else? Um, yeah. So the, if you wanted to add office software as well, then you're talking, you're looking into probably nine pound 50 pence per user per month. That's including your email, SharePoint, Skype, as well as your office software. So if you buy the office software outside volume licensing, it's going to set you for 350 pounds as opposed to it will only cost you six pounds more 
on top of your emails if you buy it, you know, um, if, you, if, you, if you buy it with Office 365. So six pounds, that means 60 months, they break even with between both. Are you getting it? But in those 60 months, your office, uh, the office versions will change. There will be upgrades, new ones. With Office 365, you don't have to worry about upgrades because you will get upgrades as part of the package. It's free. You just keep paying those six, those nine pound forty pence, including emails and office. You just get the latest version. Simple as that. Uh, whereas if you have Exchange and buy the office as a separate package, then you have to upgrade them again unless you pay for software assurance, which is going to cost you a bomb again. So I, I hope um, you, you, you get the idea. If you have an office on site, it's going to be only probably about 60 pounds or, or even 30 pounds a month difference for 50 users. Uh, and for those 30 pounds, you're still buying the servers and all that nonsense, you know. So in the, in the, in the long run, you will end up paying more time than those 30 pounds are worth. So it's, if you, if you, if you do the numbers, there are so many ton of businesses moved to Office 65 for a reason. I'm sure if you do the numbers, you will, you, you will, you, they, you will understand why. Again, and again, having mail server on site is a CapEx investment and going for Office 65 or Exchange Online is an OPEX model. So Exchange Online is three pounds per user per month and Office 365 Business Essentials, which doesn't give you Office software, is four pounds per month per user. You can do the numbers depending on how many employees you have, where the business is going. And to see the benefits of Office 365, please watch my earlier video. Thank you very much. I hope I left you better than I found you. Thank you. Bye-bye.